hip pain, strain of the rectus femoris and its anatomy. One of the causes of hip pain that is usually forgotten is a strain of the rectus femoris muscle and tendon. It causes groin pain or anterior hip pain in some athletes. Who are these athletes that get problem from rectus femoris strain? Runners, baseball players, hockey players, soccer players. It will be sudden like kicking the ball in soccer or sprinting from a standing position. It's an overuse problem with repeated tearing and repeated stress and the stretching of the tendon. You will create some scar, some adhesion, some tightness. It's almost like a tennis elbow kind of a problem or Achilles tendinitis. Before we talk about the anatomy of the rectus femoris muscle, we want to know that there is a lot of causes for the hip pain, especially the anterior hip pain. It can be something inside the joint, like loose body or liberal tear, a vascular necrosis of the femoral head or arthritis, or something outside the joint, like the iliopsoas bursitis. And when you work the patient up for hip pain, make sure you include directus femoris strain, which occur from tearing of the muscle fibers due to stretching of this muscle. So directus femoris is the anterior muscle of the quadriceps femoris. The quadriceps femoris is a group of muscles in the anterior thigh. Directus femoris has two heads or two origin. The straight head arises from the anterior inferior iliac spine of the pelvis. The reflected head originates from a groove superior to the establum. The muscle is inserted into the superior border of the patella through the common quadriceps tendon. This muscle flexes the thigh at the hip and it extends the knee. The innervation comes from the femoral nerve, which is L2, L3, and L4. So if it crosses the hip anteriorly, then it flexes the hip joint. So these tears or strains of the muscle can be an acute process from forcible eccentric contraction of the muscle, but these injuries are more distal on the thigh or near the knee. Patient with the strain will have pain in the groin or in the anterior part of the hip, but most commonly you find the pain more distal. The chronic one, the overuse one, will give you hip pain. Usually the pain near the anterior inferior iliac spine. In adolescence, you will have avulsion of the anterior inferior iliac spine because it's weak. So if you see a piece of bone near the hip joint, then this is a pulled muscle. It is direct as femoris, innervated by the femoral nerve and the treatment is no surgery, just some rest and crutches. And then you're gonna palpate the site of the pain. You go around the hip region, you try to palpate the anterior superior iliac spine, that is where the sartorius is attached to. Immediately distal to that, you find like a soft spot or like a little groove followed by the anterior inferior iliac spine, you try to palpate that side carefully because it may be rectus femoris sprain if this area is painful. Also you want to palpate the tensor fascia lata, the iliotibial band around the hip area. Try to palpate the rectus femoris muscle through its entire length because you may find the pain in the mid thigh or distally, which is common. Then you will do the provocative test 
Resisted reflection will produce pain. This situation is different than a pulled groin, which will be a doctor muscle strain, and the patient will have pain and decrease strength with resisted leg adduction, and it is called compression adduction test. So we finish the exam for the rectus femoris strain, then we'll probably not need any x-ray, but in adolescence, we may get an x-ray to make sure you don't have an avulsion fracture of the anterior inferior iliac spine. If you get an x-ray, it probably will be normal. You may want to get an MRI in tough cases that are not getting better with treatment. So how do you treat that? Treatment is done by ice, rest, non physiotherapy for stretching and strengthening, active release technique, injection, surgery is rarely done. Thank you for listening. I hope I was helpful.